Welcome to the RSP Film Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Brees Hall, number 28 of Iowa State. Talk about burst. Let's look at this one more time. You may not have noticed how much acceleration or stop-start quickness this really is until you really take a close look at it. Because as he takes the exchange, you're going to see that the line is kind of moving to its right. The two... The defensive linemen here and they're working into the free gap that's going to cut off the path to this front side attack that hall wants to go to so he does a nice job of adjusting the head downhill but he has a linebacker who's heading into this crease and the linebacker pretty much plugs this crease hall could probably bend it back outside here but then he's not going to be downhill on the man and it's going to take some effort to do that, and he might dance his way out of getting a gain. But watch the little stick right there to the outside that freezes the defender one step. And right here, if you look at it, you'd think the defender's going to wrap up Hall right here. I mean, that stick wasn't enough, was it? Next thing you know, Hall is right past number two. He's scraping the inside of the... The, the shoulder of his blockers to the inside. And he gets through right past the linebacker. And doesn't even get touched. And gets five yards on this play. When the linebacker had the angle on him. Watch it all the way through slow motion. Look at this. Little double, double up with that left foot. Like wide receivers use this move to get a release. See, it's like two sticks with the left foot. This double up freezes the defender, gets him out of position, and Hall is quick enough to just run right by him. That's impressive. More elusive goodness from Brees Hall here. We're going to watch him here from pistol, and you're going to see that second level defender is going to have an angle on number two, this linebacker, right in the hole. And watch the head fake to the inside with the shoulder. Back outside, back inside, then back to the outside. And then ducks the shoulder and just makes that man whiff. And finishes with nice pad level. But let's watch it at full speed now because, man, that is a sweet move. You don't see guys who have great upper body moves the way Brees Hall does right there. I mean, that's a little shake that... I don't see many backs do that very often. So he's got a little bit of that sugar, as uh, boxers would say. You know, he's got that upper body shake along with that little hesitation with the two steps. Beautiful move. Hall has some potential to become a very good receiver out of the backfield. But a couple things stand in the way of that. One is pass protection is so so at best. Um, and we're not going to see that right now. He does has a nice little chip. But you see him work downfield here late in this game with about a minute left. It's a seven-point game, and he drops the ball. Now, I want you to look at the open field in front of him after he works open because he does a really good job after this chip to kind of go on the, the wide or the swing route. He looks more of a swing route. Sees that the quarterback's break in the pocket and then gets separation on the defender downhill. He catches this ball in stride right here. He basically has two defenders in the secondary over top that he can, and a lot of room to try and work open against them. At the very least, he's putting um, Iowa State in position to, you know, mount a scoring drive here. At best, he might score with his open field skills, but he drops this. So we're going to take a look at what happened here. And you're going to see that this is completely on Brees Hall. Does such a great job of working open. And that was a nice little meaningful chip. Not too hard on 31 to disrupt the block that's already there. But enough to slow down 31 a bit. And then Hall works open. And watch what happens here. Hands up. That's very good. See how he has his hands over hand position? That's perfect. Reaching back for the ball. But see how he now splays his hands at the last moment? Uh, man, receivers do this all the time. Running backs do this all the time. They have the right position, then they move their hands, and then they clap down on it. And when you clap down on the ball, you end up fighting it because now the ball is striking your palms and it's not a clean 
catch. It's harder to secure because the ball now rebounds or ricochets off of your hands. And that's exactly what happens here in this bottom right corner. If he just had his hands right there and just let the ball into them rather than opening up his fingertips, he probably doesn't fight this ball. Since I've already kind of referenced it or alluded to it, Brees Hall's pass protection needs to be a lot better. The effort has to be better to begin with. But again, a guy like Jonathan Taylor's effort wasn't all that great when he was at Wisconsin, and we can see that he can become an every down back. Brees Hall has that potential. Thing is, is that even when he does make the effort, what you see here is he understands that this linebacker might be coming. This linebacker is probably a green dog blitzer who's assigned to Hall. If Hall doesn't go out for a pass, then he blitzes. Well, Hall makes it easy for him because he gets in the way of the linebacker, and if he stays here, then the linebacker will come, and then he can handle that, which is a good thing. But what ends up happening is he tries to go and assist his edge defender right here, his edge blocker right here, where he's not really even needed. So he slides in that direction, and guess what that does? That opens up the lane for the green dog blitz right by Hall, sack. That's the problem. Now, could Hall have been looking at this safety? Well, it doesn't look like he is, but it's very possible he sees a safety dropping down for a second and thinks that maybe the safety is coming outside here, but I think that's a remote possibility that that's what he's thinking because the safety actually just takes a couple steps and then slides over here. So maybe that baits him, but I think more than anything, he slides outside either to you know, filter out to the backfield to be an, an outlet option, which he does too soon oftentimes without giving any help to his lineman, or he was going to help on the edge with his um, tight end and winds up giving away the green dog blitz. One of the ways I'd characterize Brees Hall's game is that as talented as he is, there's even greater potential for him to become a star. I don't know if he's ever going to get there, but that potential is strong. And one of those things that you see in addition to the athletic ability that, that kind of fits that is that there is an underlying toughness to his game. I mean, that's a pretty hard hit for you to be able to take. He does a good job catching, and he's trying to spin away right here, and he ends up getting hammered pretty hard. You know, it's not like ab absolutely like hard-to-the-chest-level contact, but it's still the type of thing that when you see it, you know, that's a pretty hard hit that can jar a ball loose. That's not bad. Then there's just the burst. Again, we talk about this burst. Just look at that. Slow to the hole, fast through it. It's just a four-yard gain. But I love the contrast. You just get a chance to see that he's very patient, and then he just hits it very quickly. And you're going to see it come downhill here in a minute. Just how he sees, he waits for the open. He's very patient with zone plays. He's pretty good with gap plays as well in terms of being able to get you know slow on the approach, look to the, that front side, see what's there. He could have probably continued to follow along here, but I think he sees basically right here, this is where he could have continued to go. Like I would have liked to see him maybe continue along this line, but with this defender maybe out here, he just decided that it wasn't going to be a good position for him to be able to attack. Maybe part of the push and seeing the helmet right here. He does a good job of being able to plant downhill and he really anticipates this very well. Beats the linebacker backside through that crease. That's nice work. We talked about pace earlier, but one of the sneaky good things he really does with his game is just really set up change of direction with that pace. See how he again is kind of slow on the approach in the open field here and then just that quick little burst right there to avoid the defender it's like he always has a little something in store when he makes that move he accelerates through the cut 
to get a good idea of Brees Hall's ability to move, watch this run. Because this is the type of run you see on recruiting tape of high school prospects. Now, usually they score, <laughs> but to watch a guy make multiple defenders miss one, two, three, four, four on one play in a 15 yard gain. That's some pretty great work in a density of space. And you can see a different way. He pulls through a reach here and uses that little micro movement of the shoulder to just kind of shrug it off. Then you get yourself a little jump stop and lateral cut to avoid the defensive back. A hip opener right here to avoid another defensive back. Getting that back foot up. Very good job to avoid the defender. You know, he just made miss by getting the foot up. A little stutter and then a cut downhill with a stiff arm to avoid the defensive back there. And then a spin through much of the hit of the safety there who finally wraps and brings him to the ground. Beautiful run. I mean, that's like Gale Sayers-esque. You don't see that often in the college game. Gale Sayers asked Adrian Peterson in his prime. You see a lot of Adrian Peterson do some of that. Yeah, that 28's a little reminiscent of that. Matt Forte. Matt Forte could do a little bit of that. Changing the axis of pursuit right here. Cutting across like that. That's some fine work. We've talked a fair bit about Hall's change of direction, his quickness. But there's also a precision with his footwork that's impressive. And you can watch it right here where he's going to encounter penetration inside between the tackles, really inside the guards. And right here he makes a little jump stop and a stick forward and then reverses field and turns this into a one-yard gain instead of a loss. It, to me, what I like is just the precision of the feet. He doesn't make a too violent of any cut there. He, it's kind of his feet are kind of probing the open space, and he's confident in being able to use his footwork in this way, knowing when to have kind of a light touch and when to have more violent types of cuts. And I think that that's one of the special things about his game. Even though this particular play may not be special, it just carries a theme throughout his game is that he's light on his feet. He has a really good feel for how to use the footwork tools that he has. Here's more change of direction ridiculousness from Brees Hall. You're going to see him basically drop his weight come to a you know a, a stop with a drop of his weight where he bends his knees and drops his backside of as he's sitting in a chair to, to avoid the linebacker flips his hips out of that little sit down so not only is it impressive that he has the ability to bend like this but then he makes a little jump switch with the hips right there so we can get downhill. This is Gale Sayers-esque right here. Gets downhill through the crease, avoids a linebacker and a defensive tackle. Then sidesteps a, say, a defensive back, dips inside another defensive back, and, and then as a result of that avoids the pursuit of the trailing cornerback. Gets downhill, makes another drop of his weight, that same cornerback who missed earlier misses again. And then he's wrapped up by a defensive back. That is a thing of beauty. That looks like something out of Gale Sayers. I mean, right there, that little stop, start, little flip of the hips, downhill. First man missed in the open field, second in the open field, third in the open field. Beautiful play. That's art right there. So for my annual publication, the Rookie Scouting Portfolio, I track running back data in terms of 
contact balance and avoidance basically tackle tackle breaking and avoidance data and this run right here pretty much epitomizes the day that Brees Hall had against TCU this run here on a six on an 18 carry 242 yard day with another three catches for 29 yards is indicative of what I've seen from Brees Hall. Two players missed right there. Third player missed. Fourth player missed before he's tripped up by a defensive tackle because he's weaving throughout everybody. Brees Hall, in this game so far, with one play left, I think this is this is his last touch though, he eluded three attempts by a defensive lineman to tackle him successfully eluded another two by linebackers and then he successfully eluded nine defensive back angles in this game so he eluded the angles of oh 14 different attempts in this game he carried the ball 18 times so nearly avoided someone on an average of almost every attempt so in my Isaiah Spiller film room that I'll be coming out with, if it didn't come out before this, I show Spiller struggling with a counterplay because he just doesn't really understand the principles of gap in certain situations. He has to be a little bit more nuanced with it. Brees Hall, this is a different type of gap play than the Spiller play, but it's power with a fullback lead. And it's working towards this left edge. Now Spiller is gonna would see this right here where the pull is, and instead of working inside, he would directly try to bounce this outside where the defense already has leverage. He's done that against Auburn, he's done it against Alabama. Brees Hall, though, nope, he understands. He knows that these defenders have the leverage. Even though Brees Hall is probably much maybe not much faster, but faster than Spiller, and maybe one of the faster backs for his size in this class. But he knows you hit this thing behind your blockers. That means you get nasty with it if you need to, which means you press towards that inside shoulder, bring that linebacker and defensive back back to the inside, and then you veer behind your blockers, and then you claw and scratch and move and fight and run through people, and you get your positive yards that way. And that's what I like about Brees Hall is he understands it. He gets it. He's a good zone runner. He's a good gap runner. He knows how to do it. He's disciplined with what he needs to do here. Because, again, if he moves outside here, even though eight's kind of leaning in and four doesn't have to completely have his head to the outside shoulder, they have leverage to the outside. And he knows that. So he keeps it inside just for the moment to keep that linebacker inside. That's probably the most important thing. And then he buries his head between his two blockers, helps them get a push, Lowers his pads into number eight, stiff arms him, keeps his hand, you know, feet moving, drops his pads into the other defender and extends a little bit and gets a nice gain. That's smart running. That's taking what you can get and working within the bounds of the scheme and not trying to be a hot shot and bounce things outside where the leverage advantage is going to be to the defense. Good, tough, old fashioned running. Brees Hall has the potential to become a special back in the NFL. It's really up to how much attention to detail he wants to pay to his game so that he can become consistent at a high level doing the things that not only does he do well right now, but things that he can become better at with just a little bit of work. He makes his job look easy at the college level so often that I think it's a little deceptive um, when watching him there it almost feels like there's something a little bit off and it's interesting because talking with Chad Ryder who at NFL.com you know one of the things that we discussed about Brees Hall is that when he was recruited by Iowa there were no offers for him and the coach was literally looking at Brees Hall's tape and thinking what am I missing with him and then once they made an offer. A number of offers came in for Hall. 
But, you know, it's interesting because when you have players who it comes easy for sometimes, there is a chance they can struggle in the NFL when they have to actually work at it. But I'm confident that the Hall has the potential to become a very good player. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.